pushing inside the house, going left. Contact left. I'm on left with you. Down. Clear right. Clear left. Alright. Front middle is clear. Pushing inside the house, going left. On left with you. Down. Clear right. Clear left. In the hallway. Right. Front middle is clear. What's up everybody, Dre right back at it again with another video on Six Days in Fallujah. It's been a minute since the last time that I've talked about this game because there really hasn't been too much about it, or at least I haven't noticed. The reason why I'm talking about it today is because I was looking at the video in our Discord and I saw that this guy was posting videos of Six Days in Fallujah and I was just like looking at him to see what it was there and I was like, oh. Why are they showing audio samples? That's so weird. But then I scroll down and I see actual gameplay and I'm like, oh snap, hello. Frickin' finally, after so long, like when did they announce that? Back in 2020? Like anything that they've shown off up to this point has just basically been live action stuff with interviews or pictures. There was gameplay and I say that with quotation marks cause it felt very scripted or just a straight up CGI cinematic trailer. There really hasn't been concrete gameplay like this. So when I saw this, I was just like, all right, I gotta freaking cover this because finally we're actually seeing something tangible here this actually looks pretty good i mean it, it looks pretty early but i mean it looks good i mean not great because it really doesn't show us a whole lot but we do get a bit of a glimpse at the gunplay and gameplay that they're trying to show off here the building that they're going into feels very claustrophobic kind of like a ready or not type of setting and the gameplay is from the same sitting just from two different perspectives the first video is the last guy that's going in the building i believe and the second is of i believe the second guy that went inside the building we actually do get a couple of gunshots here and there but it looks like he kind of shoots as a shadow like you can't really see what the bad guy looks like he just like kind of bolts off you see him for like a split second this house is supposedly supposed to be a randomly generated house so i mean if it's randomly generated it actually doesn't look too bad i mean i don't know what it looks like in a, a real Felucia house in 2004 right that that was when we invaded Felucia. correct me if i'm wrong but it's interesting and i think the main thing to take away from this is that i first thought that the game was supposed to be a single player game but it seems as if the game is also going to have co-op multiplayer as far as i know there isn't going to be pvp but it feels like it's definitely going to be like uh sort of like ready or not except you're not telling the guys to get down on the ground you're most likely just going to shoot them unless they're civilians or maybe you're probably going to shoot the civilians it is a war zone after all I'm not saying that it's cool to shoot civilians but it is a war zone you know that type of stuff kind of happens whether intentional or not okay i'm going off on a tangent here the point is the game kind of looks like ready or not but in Fallujah and from what I understand or from what they've said before they said that it was supposed to be like a single player game so I'm assuming that you get to control AI kind of like how you do in ready or not where you tell them to like stack up on a door or something and me seeing co-op here kind of also feels like that you know except you're not here to really take people in unless maybe there is a mission that you do that I don't know like again this game does not give out a whole lot of information which was one of the main reasons why I was really skeptical about it but now that I can see these little snippets right here I can actually see see that they have something really tangible here. I mean, I'm sure that it does like on its forums and stuff like, uh, unfortunately the forum that this guy posted from was actually about the audio and not the gameplay itself. We just so happened to get gameplay from this one forum post, but it was really trying to just show off the audio design. And I gotta say that the audio design doesn't sound too bad, but what I would really like to see from these guys is like a full on demo that we could play. Uh, Cause I mean, this little mini gameplay snippets, they actually look pretty good. It's just really unfortunate that this is how we actually got to see you know our first look at the gameplay it's just like a random side note on a forum post hopefully we'll get to see more soon i'll put a link to the article if you want to read it for yourself because it really is a word salad like it's a lot of stuff to read but i find it interesting nonetheless so go ahead and check it out but as for this video i'm gonna end it right here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like six days in Fallujah, then be sure to like the video share the video comment down below support the channel by becoming a patron or hopping on that join button that's underneath the video any donation helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye